And welcome back. I'm Mabel Jong. You're watching Day 2 World Healthcare Congress coverage here in Washington, D.C. And I am so pleased to have with me today Ray DeRochers, who is Executive VP at HealthEdge. Good to see you again. Very good to see you as well. So what is the message that you're hearing, Ray, and the one that you're sending out to attendees? Great question. It seems clear that we've entered a period of pretty fundamental change across the industry as we are moving from the one-size-fits-all version of healthcare that we've all known and loved to something that now is much more individualized, personalized, and customized than ever before. At the conference this year, we've heard a huge focus on next-generation healthcare business models. How do we incent the right behavior from the member population? How do we incent the right behavior from the providers? That's a key question. At the same time, huge challenges around administrative efficiency. How do we reduce the cost of healthcare? particularly as it's spiraling out of control. And then third, a huge theme is around transparency. And particularly in this world of consumerism, how do we get to a point where we can provide the right information at the right time to everyone involved in the healthcare delivery cycle? Those are really the key themes that we're hearing this year. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the conclusions that everyone seems to be coming to is that the industry must transform itself if it's going to be ready to you know, play its role in this mm -hmm. new marketplace. Are we seeing the correct infrastructures being strengthened to support some of these goals that you mentioned? I think we're starting to. I think it's a challenge right now as there are a number of folks who are dealing with um, old people, process, and technologies, mm -hmm. an old way of thinking, and ultimately, you know, haven't really determined yet how they will transform to be successful in this new economy. They're starting but mm -hmm. they're just starting. Are the dollars being used wisely? Or are we seeing um, organizations really just spending money haphazardly because they're, they're not really sure which way is the right way? Unfortunately, it's still the latter. So there's a lot of waste across the industry as people are really focused on how can I band-aid you know, all of the various infrastructure that I've been using for the last 20, 30, 35 years versus ultimately how can I use this moment in time to transform myself to get ready for not just the things that are coming today, but the things more importantly that will be coming tomorrow. What are the key partnerships do you believe should be made to be successful in this environment? Mm -hmm. Again, I think, you know, at the end of the day, the payers and the providers across the industry must evaluate their people, process, and technology. And I think partners that can help them to do that and do that effectively and help them to, as a result, transform themselves will be the partners that enable them to be successful and will be the partners that transform them into the next generation market leaders. Mm -hmm. And the key takeaway you'd like to leave with us? Transform transformation is really required. We're at the point now where it's, it, business as usual is not an option. You can't just sit around and hope that things are going to go away, hope that things are going to get better. I think ultimately what you need to do is you really need to evaluate the various changes that are going on in the market, evaluate the new business models, determine which of those are going to be right for you, and then make meaningful change. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, get yourself to the point where, you know, not only can you compete, but you can be more competitive than anyone else in your market. And my final question is, you um, are serving as a moderator this year. Mm -hmm. And why are, what kind of questions are you asking, and why was it important to be at this meeting? That's a great question. Again, I think we're in a period of historic change. And I think that ultimately, a number of the discussions that are happening this year are pretty fundamental to what we will become over the coming years. And that is just so critical, given a lot of the cost and a lot of the quality issues in the healthcare system today. Mm -hmm. So the panel I'm moderating is going to be all about next generation healthcare business models. Ultimately, how do we transform the industry so that we have the right incentives in place, we have the right cost controls in place, and we have a healthy, happier and healthier population. That's the key. Okay. Ray, thank you so much for your time today. Always great to see you. You too. Thank okay. you. And I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching. Still more to come.